Well, it's really an interesting story how Salute and the Shore came to be. My really good friend, Toddy Smith, and I were sitting on the beach, and, and Toddy said to me, it's really not equitable that we're sitting here with our family and friends enjoying the 4th of July, and all those young people in the military are overseas defending us and enabling us to do this. We really need to do something to honor those young people on the 4th of July. As you know, South Carolina is a very patriotic state. Figured the coast of South Carolina would be a great platform for an audience to gather and show gratitude to the military. Everybody appreciates the military, but this gives a venue for everybody to come and show their appreciation to the active duty military, the veterans, and their families. So year 10 is pretty incredible. I don't think we ever thought when we got off the ground, literally in the first year, that it would last 10 years. We really are bigger and stronger than we've ever been because the people of South Carolina take this seriously and it really means something to our state. It's a, it's a festive time, but when those jets come and you see them coming, it's uh, there's just this reverence that takes over the entire beach during the event, and then afterwards, this kind of jubilation. A salute to me is a way to honor someone and thank them for what they've done for you, and I think it's an appropriate name for our organization and our mission because that's exactly what we're trying to do. Well, it's incredible. Nobody realized, imagined, 11 years ago when we had that last discussion, that it would have a life beyond one year, and for it to have lasted 10 years with the prospects of continuing on, perhaps for generations, is just astounding. Hope to see you on the coast of South Carolina for the 10th annual Salute from the Shore.